years after the Second World War there was a large exodus of people from the Netherlands. More than 450,000 people emigrated abroad. At the same time, the Dutch economy grew enormously. The demand for workers grew. Not enough employees were available in the Netherlands people from Spain, Portugal, Greece, the former Yugoslavia, Turkey and Morocco have to make up the shortfall. They are called guest workers, because their presence is said to be temporary. Due to the growth, the Netherlands could use many workers, mainly in industry. Some companies are therefore looking abroad for temporary workers. Initially, mainly Italian, Spanish, Greek and Yugoslav workers come to the Netherlands, it were mainly men. After a recruitment agreement with Turkey in 1964, Turkish workers followed, followed five years later by Moroccan workers. In some cases, an inspection committee of the Dutch government picks up workers in Morocco. The majority of migrants live and work in industrial centers such as the port of Rotterdam and the textile region in the east of the country. They often work hard, work long hours and live in simple conditions. Although men often came to the Netherlands for work, women also came later. In the late 1960s, Dutch women often did not work outside the home. Women's hands were needed for some fine work, such as at Danlin in Emmen. The rise of the panties and Nile stockings caused a lot of work. In the former Yugoslavia the women were used to work, so the company started looking for young ladies in Yugoslavia. The ladies were well looked after by the company. They were placed in groups in houses where strict rules applied. Rules about the time of coming home and rules about tasks in the house. Furthermore, there was also a ban on men in the houses. Slava Jurek was one of the girls of the Danlin. She came to Emmen in 1969 to work at the Danlin. Slava has continued to live in the Netherlands, she met a husband at work and they are still happily married. We visited Slava in Emmen. Slava, can you tell us something about that time, we are curious why you came to the Netherlands, and what it was like to work and stay here. Nou, we was wel best streng hoor. We werken weer van 7 tot, uh, tot 5 uur. En uh, ja, dat was, uh, dat was wel zwaar. En we werken dan met, uh, ja, met heel veel dames uh, op afdeling. En uh, nou, nee, ook dames van alle kanten. Uh, Servië. En ja, dat was moeilijk. Ja, dat was ook niet zo mooi. Dat, uh, we zaten daar ook met 10 of 12 dames in uh, de woning. En uh, ook dames van alle, van alle delen van Servië. En er uh, waren strenge regels. Uh, ja, je moet om 10 uur thuis zijn. En uh, je mag niet uit. En uh, ja, goed. Hebben we het toch maar gedaan. In 1973, a recruitment freeze was put in place for foreign workers from around the Mediterranean. The reason was the economic malaise caused by the oil crisis. Because the Dutch government at the time had brought the guest workers to the Netherlands to come to work, the government leaders also felt a moral obligation to give the guest workers a chance to stay in the Netherlands and reunite with their families. This meant a major change in the composition of Dutch society. The Netherlands became colorful and Islam took place in Dutch society. Since 1994, Labor migration from outside the European economic area has only been permitted if there is no suitable supply within the European economic area. Since 1994 there has been a flow of workers from mainly Eastern European countries. Since 2014, Bulgarians and Romanians, among others, have been able to come to the Netherlands without a work permit. In recent years, Polish workers have been in the majority. Some return to their home country and family in the course of time. But an increasing proportion are settling in the Netherlands with their family. You sometimes see harrowing cases of housing, especially among people who come to the Netherlands temporarily for work. Like truck drivers who live in their truck for months. One of them is Ivan Ivanov. He has been working in the Netherlands since 2018. The first months he stayed day and night in the harbor of Vineyard. He worked there during the day at a transport company.
месец и ще остана за коледните празници. Това значи, че два месеца ще почувам. In the evening he returned to the harbor to cook his dinner and sleep in the truck. Twice a year he went to his family in Bulgaria. But nowadays there are also guest workers who live in large groups in a house and have little privacy. Due to their culture and customs, there are tensions between the guest workers and the Dutch population. Eastern European guest workers are often associated with alcohol abuse and crime. The Dutch again feel threatened by the guest workers. They take the place of the Dutch employees. It is often forgotten that they do work that the Dutch do not want or cannot do, because it is dirty work or heavy work. We were also needed these guest workers, just like in the 60s.